Hi greetings, welcome back to GA Online Teaching. Today we are going to focus on solve for x using factorization. I'm going to do three examples with the three different types of factorization. One is the highest common factor, the second is the difference of two squares, and the third would be your trinomial. Okay, let's begin. Please pause this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to GA Online Teaching. Okay, so over here, now my objective in each sum learn before you do anything else, make sure that I equate my equation equal to zero. Meaning, either on the right hand side of my equal to sign, I make zero, or on the left hand side, if the equal to is on that side, I make my equation equal to zero. That is step number one. So, 2x minus 1, x plus 2, plus 2 is equal to 0. Notice how I make it equal to 0. What's the next thing? I make sure I get rid of my brackets, add like terms, then what has to appear is one of the three factorizations, either highest common factor, or the difference of two squares, or I would have a trinomial. Notice in each question I have to have two values for x, and I'll show you why. So, 2x squared times x is 2 Sorry, 2x times x is 2x squared, right? Multiply these two, 4x. These two, negative x minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. Next step, make sure I add like terms. So 2x squared, these two are like, plus 3x. These two are like, because they cancel each other out and they equal to zero. Now, what type of factorization is this? It's the highest common factor factorization. Now, be careful. Whenever you find answers or questions like this, where you find x to the power of two, meaning the degree of my equation is two, meaning there will be two x values for, uh, there will be two x values in your question. So, what type of factorization? What is common? x is common. What is left? 2x plus 3 and that is equal to 0. And this is the easy part, this is what you know. x is equal to 0 or 2x is equal to negative 3, therefore x is equal to negative 3 over 2. Notice over there, two values for x. Now let's go over to example number two. Example number two is x squared is equal to four. Notice the highest degree of, or the degree of my equation is two, meaning I need to have two x values. Now, be careful, what was my first objective? To make my equation equal to zero. And this, I'm going to do exactly the same. x squared minus four is equal to zero and what did i say what will pop up after i add like terms if there are any i will find and something that i can factorize and this is the difference of two squares so therefore don't forget to put equal to zero x plus two and x minus two now if i were to solve x is equal to negative two or x is equal to positive 2. And how do I know my answers are correct? I substitute my x values into my equation, original equation, I'll find this answer. If I substitute this one over there, I'll find this answer. If I substitute negative 2 in there, I'll find the answer of 4. Similarly with this one over here. In example number 3, like, what's my first objective? Make sure that my equation is equal to 0. So x minus 7, x minus 5, minus 3 is equal to 0. Next, multiply out, add like terms, and see which type of factorization will appear. So x times x is x squared. Notice how that's squared, meaning the degree of the expression is 2, means 2, meaning that there are 2 x values. Right, these two, negative 5x, those two, negative 7x and plus 35 minus 3 is equal to 0. Alright, this is normal binomial times a binomial. So x squared 
minus 12x and I have plus 35 minus 3 is equal to 32 is equal to 0. Now what type of factorization? Highest common factor, difference of two squares or your trinomial. In this case it's the trinomial. So do not forget to make equal to 0. And I'm going to factorize now x and x. The factors of 32 would be 8 and 4. How do I use 8 and 4 to equal negative 12? That would be minus 8 minus 4. That's a trinomial. If you did not understand that, please go to my YouTube channel. Go to my grade 10 or 9 folder and make sure that you search trinomial. You'll find two, two videos over there. Different types of examples. All right. So in this part, you know, therefore, x is equal to positive 8 or x is equal to positive 4. And if I substitute my value of 8 in here and here, I'll get 3. The same thing with 4. And that is it. Until next time, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel at GA Online Teaching. Don't forget to study real hard because in two or three weeks time, you are starting with your exams and all the topics that you will cover in your exam is on my channel at the link below. Until next time.